ghetto. Okay, so here we're gonna go for we're gonna go for 20 bucks. All right, what's up? Okay, I gotta get my 20. All right. All right. No, you gotta. First, first, I ask you three questions. You gotta pass the test. Okay. Do you consider yourself to be a good person? You? You a good person? You a good person? Sometimes. Good heart. All right, all right. Oh yeah. I'm gonna be honest with you. My pocket. I'm gonna be honest. Okay. I'm good and bad. Good and bad. Okay. What's he got here? Truth and faith. Truth and faith. Oh, that's okay. So, um, can I ask you three questions to see if that's true? Yeah. Okay. Um, you know the Ten Commandments, right? Yeah. Los diez commandamientos. Oh, yeah. Okay. Ten commandments. Um. Hello. Um. Have you ever Have you ever lied? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. What does that make you? A liar. Have you ever stolen something? Yeah. What does that make you? Bad person, thief. Yeah. Like I told you. What, you. what is it? Like I told you. I think. Like I told you, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not good. No, that's good. You're being honest. No, that's good. That's good. So if you've stolen, what does that make you? Religion or what? Thief. Thief. Here's the one that got me. I'll be honest. I'll, here's the one that got me. Hey, hey, let, let, let him, let him hear. And uh, Jesus said, "You heard it that it was said, do not commit adultery. Right. But I say to you, Jesus said, whoever hey, looks at a woman Jesus to lust after her. Oh yeah. Little, yeah, little, I can show you in Matthew chapter 5, it says, right, right, right. you have heard it said by... Did not say that. I'll show you in my Bible. Hey. Little, please, he's talking to me, hold on. Okay. Um, uh, you shall not commit adultery, right. but I say to you, whoever looks at a woman to lust after her has committed adultery right. already with her in his heart. Yeah, right. Have you ever done that? Yeah. Yeah. So, tell me your name again. Mario. Mario. So Mario, by your own admission, you're a lying thief and an adulterer hey, at heart. Hey, what exactly. do you think about Black Sabbath exactly. and Hitler? Okay, let me talk about that in a minute. Let me finish this first. Oh, okay? right. yeah. uh, a lying to, thief and an adulterer at heart. And that's only three of the Ten Commandments. Right. I'm guilty of those two. Right. I'm the same as you. Right. If God judges you by that standard on the Day of Judgment, would, do you think you would be innocent or guilty? Guilty. Okay, so do you think you go to heaven or hell when you die? Hell. Is that, is that well, heaven or hell? That, no. Yeah. <laughs> heaven or hell? Yeah. <laughs> no, if, if, if I... Uh, if I, uh, if I forgive my sins, if I, if I ask forgiveness, I care about Mario. If I ask for forgiveness, he will forgive my sins, and maybe I, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Hey, I care about your friend Mario. I, okay. Let's, let's, yeah. Let me, let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. If you're in a court, you ever been in court? Yeah. Okay. If you're in a court and you're guilty of a crime, say you stole a car, something, and uh, you're guilty, and then there's no, no question, you're guilty. The evidence is there. And uh, they say, Mario, what do you have to say before I pass sentence? And you say, well, judge, I'm going to ask you if you just forgive me. Let me go. If he's a good judge, is he going to let you go? No, he can't. He'd be thrown out. He'd be a bad judge. Right. God is good. He's right. a good judge. Right. And so if you just say, God, I, I, I lied, I stole, I committed adultery, but I want you to forgive me and let me go. If he's a good judge, he can't let you go. He's going to make sure that you receive the punishment you deserve for the crime. Right. And the Bible says that... Um, all liars have their part in the lake of fire. Yeah. It says, no thief, no adulterer can enter the kingdom of heaven. So if God gives you justice, and you're going to die one day, you're going to stand before him. If he treats you according to your sins, you're going to go to hell. Because God is good, and he says he will punish murderers, rapists, liars, thieves, adulterers, and that's you, and that's me. But he made a way for you to be forgiven because he loves you. Do you know what that is? Do you know how, what he did for you? He died. <laughs> Jesus died on the cross, yeah? yeah? So it's like this, you're in court, you're guilty, and the judge says, can you pay your fine, Mario? It's $50,000. And you say, no, I have no money. So you're going to go to prison. All of a sudden, somebody you don't even know comes in and pays your fine. They sell everything they have and they give it to the judge and say, this is for Mario because he's my friend, I love him. How would you feel toward that guy? Grateful. Grateful. The Bible says that's what God did for you and for you and for me 2,000 years ago. God became a man, Jesus Christ, and he died on the cross to take your punishment. And my punishment, it's like this. We broke the law, and Jesus paid our fine because he died for you. And the Bible says if you repent, turn from your sin once and for all, and put your faith in Jesus, you need to trust him with your whole heart, give him your whole heart. He will forgive you of your sin, and he will give you what you don't deserve. Heaven and, and a clean heart. He will make you 
clean. Well, you know what? I've been in the streets for a week. What's that? I've been in the streets living in my For a week? Home. For a week, yeah. You hear me? Yeah, yeah. And maybe, you know, maybe... Just... Maybe God's putting me here so we can talk about this. I care about you. I don't know you, Mario. You may never see me again. I don't know. You guys... I didn't know if you guys are nice or mean. You could beat me up. I don't know. But here's the thing. Hey, I care, I care about, about you. Who's the three, three zillionaires in this earth? I got to think about that. Give me a minute. So here's the deal. You could die tomorrow. Yeah, possible? Okay. God doesn't want you to go to hell. He sees every one of your sins. But if you, if you, if he gives you what you deserve, you're going to perish in hell. But he sent Jesus because he loves you. And so what you need to do is, before you go to sleep tonight, say, God, forgive me for my sin. I believe in Jesus with all my heart. And stop fooling around with what you know is wrong and say, I'm going to obey you the rest of the days of, of my life. I've been doing a lot of wrong. So do you need to make a change in your heart? Yeah. It's serious, man. Because... To be honest with you, I do. That's Every called... Night, when I go to bed, I God. I like I said, I've been... I've been but I commit to days. I've been in the streets for two weeks already. Yeah. And it's time for me to just... I mean, I've been doing a lot of crazy shit, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. See, God says He even sees our thoughts. Everything we do in secret, maybe the law doesn't see us, but God sees into your heart and He's going to hold you accountable for everything. And me too. The only way that we can have hope of going to heaven and not go to hell is to give Him our whole life. He doesn't want you just go to church and say a prayer or say, oh God, forgive me. He says, no, I want everything. I want your whole heart, your whole life. And you got to turn away once and for all and say, God, I'm guilty. I have offended you and made you angry with me. I deserve to go to hell. But if you will forgive me, I give you my whole life. Thank you. Nice to meet you guys. Thank you. Hey, hey nice to meet you, man. Thanks. Me out. You hear me? Yeah. I really did need it. Get something to eat. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. All right. All right. We're friends. See you later. Bye-bye.